So this is a uh, demo project. We're demoing this uh, chimney out of here. This one goes to a fireplace. I uh, just wanted to show you how things were done, uh, how it was built. This one I'm thinking was built maybe in like the 70s or 80s. Uh, and a lot, of, a lot of fireplaces were built kind of in the same way uh, back back then where so what you're looking at here is this is this is your damper above your fireplace and this would be your smoke chamber um, obviously this one is not you know built to today's standards but this is how a lot of them were built so what you have here is you have just the back wall of the chimney is the the interior wall of the smoke chamber so basically you're only four inches thick here uh, in here as well uh, this is just a chopped up piece of flue um, that they use to bridge this, to, to create this angle. Uh, and you can see they just propped that up on some nails and had some rebar here to help hold it and some nails that held what was the original flue, which would have been a nine by 13 clay. Uh, and somebody has, you know, that, you know, it was all cracked up and somebody replaced with this stainless liner where they did this horrendous job putting insulation on it. And uh, you can see that they haven't even used foil back or foil face insulation or anything. It's just regular insulation that's kind of taped on there and it's all falling apart. Uh, obviously you can't have that inside of a chimney. Um, and they use a corrugated liner and this is, this is the base of it, like where it goes up and you can see it's all dented and angled here. Um, and not really sealed up that well around the edges. Uh, and then so moving on, they have this flue coming through the smoke chamber, which you see that once in a while. Obviously, you're not supposed to have that coming through the smoke chamber at all. It's supposed to be petitioned off. Um, and this is your firebox in here. On there. Okay. Um, and your f so this is your your flue coming up for your boiler. You can see it's all mortared in real tight, and when you look down, you got mortar hanging off all over. It's not the smoothest thing. Obviously, it works, but. You really want to try to do a little better than that. So basically the, f the smoke chamber is uh, four inches thick on the side there and on the back. They did get it uh, eight inches thick here. Uh, but obviously we're right up against wood. Not a good idea. Oh, and uh, we dug this out of, uh, dug this out of there. It was mortared in. There's another one on the other side an old Budweiser bottle back when men used to drink Budweiser and not be ashamed Found it. the other one's all buried over here uh, so yeah I knew that this chimney was built like this before we even got into it because um, because of how shallow it is so it's just a little over 20 inches uh, or almost 21 inches because these are standard brick, so they're about eight inches each. And uh, when you're only 20 inches, there's just, there's not enough room. So like on a newer chimney setup where you're put, putting a fireplace in, you'd wanna be at least, uh, from the wall, you'd wanna be at least 24 inches out. And then you can do everything that you need to do inside of that 24 inches. There's 50 year old witch's piss in here. Look at this. Oh, there's, there was two here. One there, one there. Boy, these fellas were really putting them down, huh? They don't like to drink the swell at the bottom. Getting ready to start laying some block here on this uh, this fireplace or the chimney jog. So there's a fireplace here. You can tell it's a it's a firebox. So we ripped down the brick structure. They put an addition up there. 
uh, so the chimney wasn't tall enough. So we had to rip it down and we're gonna redo it, but uh, they didn't want brick, so uh, we're gonna do block. And uh, you know maybe they'll stone veneer it or something in the in the future, but they want to just do block for now. And uh, just in the process of getting everything all set and bonded out, and you know we're trying to make some room here so our our block can get through. Notice the uh, I've got the line chalked nice and square off the house here, and this is what the foundation looks like. So when you start laying, you can't just get on on uh you can't just start laying to this foundation because it's not going to be true uh so i always like to just measure off the off the house and um go from there because these guys are uh foundation guys are rough you can see i mean it's it's nowhere close not as close as our work has to be and so i'm trying to bond it out with all nice tight joints for the head joints and look where I gotta be here. You can see that the, the foundation tapers, tapers the whole way and that's fine. Uh, we're just gonna go with what our block work needs to be. And let me see here. And there's nothing we can do about the rest of it. We'll just put a joint on the bottom. We'll just do a bevel joint or something. Um, so we just gotta cut our pieces here. We're cutting some pieces so we can end up on half bond with this chimney. Uh, we're not we're not gonna try doing any three-quarter bond tricks here um, What else oh Anyhow, yeah, this isn't gonna be a working fireplace when it's done. So uh, We don't really have to meet the codes and clearances like you typically Let me see if I get... We actually ripped the damper out of there and we're gonna because you know We don't have the clearances we need to make a proper fireplace here So we're just gonna build it back up and what, what the homeowner wants to do is put a fireplace insert in there. So uh, we're gonna build this up, petition some, uh, petition it off with some you know block divider walls in there and make it so they can slip a six inch round stainless liner uh, to their fireplace insert. And we're not gonna be doing any work inside. Everything we're doing is outside. These foundation guys are rough. These guys are competing with the roofers at the bar for the last call, girls. You don't want to mess with these guys. Their work might be out of square or whatever, but you don't say anything to them. You just, you just deal with what they leave you and be happy with it.